The best, most consistent strategy, guys, is to take advantage of the mindset some players have and just let them be the ones who W key and just hunt for kills. <laughs> What's going on, guys? This is not your regular guy. No, no, no. This is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. What's up? What's up? It's about that time again. Yo, make sure you guys continually aim for greatness. You know, greatness is something that we got to be every single day. Keep going for it, man. Don't, don't stop. Don't get content. Don't be lazy. Man, aim for the stars, guys. It's all yours. With the world on lockdown, pretty much everybody who is at home is playing video games. <laughs> and as I least heard of playing or played Fortnite. Who wouldn't? I mean, it is a fun game with a lot of things that make it different and better than many other games out right now. I can say personally, I play every day. But perhaps, you know, one of the most predominant aspects of the game is the insane prize pool that is offered in competitive almost every single week. Epic Games has outdone themselves by putting millions of dollars into multiple weekly tournaments that are free to play and across the entire world. But in order to compete and have a chance at making some competitive earnings, players must reach at least contender division and arena. And in order to do that, you need to know how to level up and hype points fast, guys. Just like all the top level players in this video today, we're gonna be going over how you can get to contender and beyond with ease, okay? Using some pro strategies that are simple to do as long as you know them, all right? Also, if you wanna learn how to play exactly like pro players, such as Unknown and Scope, you guys gotta check out ProGuys.com, where we have the best coaches in the world. Sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access to master courses by players like Benji and Mongrel. If you wanna go more in depth and explore all the different aspects of competitive gameplay that you need to know in order to succeed, you gotta head on over to ProGuys website and be sure to sign up and start improving rapidly today. I know a bunch of people were asking for me to do a live stream. Well, let me tell you this right now. I know my lane and I'm a casual player. I love playing Fortnite. I play every single day, but I would rather like look at all these pros live stream. Like I'd rather look at them. And my goal in my heart is honestly to motivate you guys to be great. Like I love teaching the game. I love inspiring people to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. So let me be me and I'm gonna let you guys do you. Find your lane, man, and run it. Now, while we're on the topic of playing like the pros, all right, it's important to mention that perhaps one of the most influencing aspects of every top level player's gameplay is the fact that they have insanely good drop spots. Okay, so if you're ever on Twitter, you'll oftentimes see pros posting images of specific drop spots on the map where they say they're going to land. This may seem like counterintuitive. It may not like seem like it makes sense, <laughs> but the reason they do this is to warn other players not to land there. So what this does is essentially allow them to establish a part of the map as their own. Now, obviously, many of you guys watching this aren't going to have platforms they have, you know, to let everyone know where you're dropping. So what can you do to actually perfect your drop and make it your own? Good question. Well, first, you must find a spot on the map that almost no one lands at and make sure that it is secluded. You know, make sure that it's not where a bunch of people are, okay? But also has enough loot so that you're leaving with somewhat of a good loadout. Otherwise, you're, you're dead early. <laughs> So to do this, we suggest, you know, going into the Battle Royale Island in a game mode like Team Rumble or any of the public mode and scavenging the map to find unmarked locations that have some sort of advantage, all right? Whether it's got, you know, for example, an abundance of chests, you know, great fishing spots and so on. Once you found your special spot, all right, begin testing it by dropping there in solo arena matches. If you can land there without being contested a majority of the time, then you most likely have found the right spot for you. Now, Fortnite's map has a lot of different aspects that you need to take into consideration you know, when picking your drop spot. Rotational utilities such as rivers flowing towards the center of the map, and other things such as terrain with natural high ground, okay, are all the things that you have to consider, guys. Remember, the mid game is also really important. So, after doing this and finding your spot, you've essentially found a safe place to land, which will allow you to just loot and get prepared before getting into premature fights and RNG-based encounters. Probably like one of the biggest reasons for losing points in Arena is really dying off spawn due to landing at points of interest, you know, or marked map areas, which have many other people landing there. So fixing this fatal error can already make a significant difference in your Arena gameplay. Okay, so we've talked about how to survive the early game, which, you know, was one of the biggest mistakes and easiest things to correct. But now let's talk about the game plan, guys, the strategy, you know, the ideology behind gaining points in arena. You guys ready? 
Fortnite is like a battle royale, which prioritizes placements as well as eliminations. Because of this, players are forced to try to survive in order to maximize their points earned. But at the same time, the more opponents are eliminated, the closer they get to those sweet placement points. So how do we take advantage of this? To begin, like, you know, let other players worry about eliminations during the early and mid game, right? When grinding for points, consistency is the key. Meaning, you can't be having like one good game and then four bad ones. Every game needs to be somewhat good, resulting in a gain of points rather than a plus. The best, most consistent strategy, guys, is to take advantage of the mindset some players have and just let them be the ones who W key and just hunt for kills. <laughs> Not only are those players increasing their chances of getting sent back to the lobby immediately, but they're also decreasing the amount of players in the match, getting you to the placements you want. Surviving to the placement point threshold is exactly where you want to be, guys. This is because, you know, once you gain your placement points, it doesn't matter if you die in a fight or make mistakes because you've already either balanced out or gone positive in, in terms of, you know, the hype points you had before you started that game. Once you've gotten the placements, you're free to just go for eliminations and make basically go for big plays that can get you major points. Okay, so the end game is also where a lot of players are stressed and under pressure. Yep all the time, right? Making them prone to make bad decisions and choking. Am I talking to you? This makes it, you know, the perfect time to take advantage of the other player's lack of confidence and really use it against them to dominate them in fights and engagements, man. You know that you're already benefiting from this game. So no matter what happens, you'll still be taking the W. Guys, think about this every in-game fight. I know a lot of time we're focusing on how we feel and, you know, our confidence and, you know, how we kind of choke at the last minute and all that stuff. But you know what? There's a lot of players that go into in-game every time you play that are thinking the same way you do. So play smart. You got it, man. And let that boost your confidence. Now, on the other hand, you know, the early game is where your, your sole purpose should be to loot weapons and utilities, while your mid game is where you need to be focusing on smart rotations and material gathering. What do we mean by smart rotations, you may ask? Good question. Smart rotations, guys, are rotations where you're getting yourself as near to the zone as possible while avoiding players, right? And also traveling as quickly and quietly as possible. You're not like shooting up a storm. This is going to allow you to avoid those pesky W keyers and get closer to placement points. So in order to maximize your mid game's consistency, all right, here are some quick tips on pro level rotations. Who's ready? I am, here we go. Basically, like once you've reached the threshold for placement points, you're going to start running into more difficult circumstances for rotations. No longer will there be just open fields and just easy walks through the park, you know, to the next zone. No, those days are over. OK, you, you have to build, you have to outplay and you have to make game saving decisions to weave your way through treacherous moving zones. The reason, you know, we're doing this is to secure as many placement points as possible and even win a victory royale. Now, keep in mind, you know, getting wins every game is very hard. Yeah, it's very hard. Even top tier pros can barely do that or, you know, simply due to the complexity and the skill gap that's decreased due to the majority of the player base increasing in skill. But luckily for you, we have some insanely effective techniques to evolve your rotations. Rotations in Fortnite, guys, are one of the well-known strengths of in-game leaders. These players are known as IGLs and they're usually players, you know, who prioritize smart decision making and high IQ plays over mechanics in W King. These players are perhaps the most consistent, you know, when it comes to Fortnite competitive and overall effectiveness. The reason this is because, you know, mechanics can oftentimes let you down. In a game like Fortnite, you know, where RNG and Bloom exist, you can't always rely on your bullet spread to get you that final kill. But when it comes to making good decisions and smart plays, yo, that's all on you. <laughs> and there's almost nothing that, you know, you can't control. So how do they do it? OK, so looking at pros like FaZe Bizzle, you know, Tifu and Arab, we can see that they spend countless hours in pro scrims. They do this not just to get to in-game practice, but also to learn zone movements. You know, it's a fact that zones in Fortnite are completely random and automated, but, you know, you can actually use intelligence and experience to place yourself for the next zone movements before they even happen. All right, so let's just say that you're about to rotate in and you get ready to box up somewhere before the next moving zone is revealed. You know that the moving zone will prioritize one area of the zone and it will be half in and half out. Because of this, the smartest possible place for you to box up and turtle in would be the center of the zone. Because no matter which side of the zone that half in and half out circle decides to move towards, one edge of it will always be somewhere near you. Other intelligent strategies you can use are things like, you know, playing off of other players when your zone predictions are unlucky and you end up being on the exact opposite. OK, so let's just say that you're one of the farthest, you know, people from the next zone. Instead of panicking and just trying to rush in and rotate, getting yourself beamed and focused by the entire lobby, oh, you don't want to do that. So just go ahead and just sit in the pyramid and analyze the map around you. 
Okay, so look for other players who could possibly be in the same situation as you. You know, if there's opponents near you who also have to go through the treacherous rotation, wait for them to make their first move. Either they place a launch pad, you know, which you can just conveniently use, or they can make the mistake of rotating in too early, becoming the player who's going to get focused by the majority of the players. This gives you an opportunity to rotate without being touched due to the fact that the other player is the one being targeted and tunnel vision. Rotations are just incredibly important and there's an insane amount of thinking that goes into it. You know, another very important thing, you know, to keep in mind is material conservation. During the last few small moving zones, there's going to be a few players left, meaning that you're most likely going to have to fight opponents on your own without any picks. So, you know, you absolutely need materials, man, and an abundance of them to be able to just build and defend yourself against whatever offensive measures they use. So if you run out, <laughs> you're, you're left out in the open with nothing but your bloom and raw aim to save you. Okay, guys, so our final note is to always keep track of the bus fare of the division that you're in. The bus fare can be pesky, and it's important to always aim for placement points that will at least cancel out your bus fare. Set these at your minimum placement goal for every game. And with time, you're going to be much better at consistently, you know, placing and dominating the end game where it truly matters. Now, of course, you may see some well-known players recently W King and just being extremely successful with it. I get it. But you have to keep in mind that the mechanics these players have are just like way beyond the average level. That's why we love watching them. <laughs> and furthermore, it's not every single game they play like that either. They play tons of games daily where they die in the mid game or early game as well. Only few are the ones that you see on YouTube and in their highlights, right? So don't be fooled by people's one hit wonders, OK, and aim for consistency and long term improvement. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. It is my joy and honor to motivate you guys, man. Keep going. I believe in you. I am your number one fan. What are you waiting for? Greatness is waiting for you. So keep going. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you guys thought and what you guys would like to see next because we strive to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel and show ProGuys.com some love using code ProGuys in the item shop. All right, we'll see you soon. Peace.